It is day 66, June 24th. And I just got dropped off back at the Three Ridges Overlook by Mrs. Mulligan. So I have a day pack on again, which is awesome. And I will have for at least a few more days anyway. And you can see it's not very bright because the sun isn't quite over the mountains yet. It is eight o'clock, but it's still kind of dark down here where I am. And saw a great, I don't know, motivational, but a quote, which I always love quotes, from one of my favorite movies. Saw the quote this morning in a completely out of context article, actually a business article. No context at all to hiking or the AT, but kind of got me motivated a little bit this morning. From one of my favorite movies, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And the quote, sort of summarizes the movie too, but is life goes by fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you'll miss it. Which I thought was totally appropriate for hiking the AT and got me excited to go hiking this morning and look around. So from Three Ridges Overlook, it is 18 miles to Waynesboro, where we stayed last night, and the beginning of Shenandoah National Park. So that's exciting, another big milestone. And from there, it's Skyline Drive, well, not for me, but Skyline Drive through the park, path, the AT goes pretty near that. I think that goes like 110 miles. And then, I don't know, how far, 40 or 50 miles after that is Harper's Ferry. So some exciting stuff coming up. Just broke out of the trees and got an awesome view here this morning. Waynesboro is sort of back over that way. That, I think, is roughly north where I'm headed. There's a better view. Waynesboro is sort of there in that direction. You can kind of see it. And came from somewhere back over there. Pretty day, though. It's going to be, I think, going to get close to 90, I think. It's probably already, it's uh, probably like 9 o'clock. I think it's already at least 80 degrees. So I don't know if anyone else is like me, that the term Shenandoah Valley, I guess I'd never really thought about it, but it's a term that I had always heard, but you don't really think about it too much. I used to live a long time ago, not too far from here. And you hear that term a lot, but I, again, I never really gave it much thought about what makes up the Shenandoah Valley. So I looked it up and it is an area that's bordered to the west by the Ridge and Valley Appalachians, to the east by the Blue Ridge Mountains, which I'm obviously walking along the Blue Ridge Parkway here, not far from it. So I guess I'm walking along the eastern border of the Shenandoah Valley to the south by the James River which you saw me walking across the footbridge the footbridge a few days ago and to the north by the Potomac River which I'll cross in another week or so so that is the Shenandoah Valley and that last video from that lookout that beautiful panorama was all part of the Shenandoah Valley. So, I don't know, maybe everyone else knew that, but again, it's one of those terms you just sort of throw around or I heard a lot, especially as I'm walking along through this area, but I never really understood it. So that was 
for me at least, my geography lesson <laughs> uh, for this Monday, Monday morning. Resort, Wintergreen Ski Area Resort. You can see a lot of con condos and townhouses and houses. They're back towards the Shenandoah Valley. can't really see him now but that will get your heart going I thought I filmed the whole thing <laughs> and I didn't push the play button or the start button on the video there was a bear probably just 20 yards 30 yards off the trail I did everything you're supposed to do you know, took my poles yelled he sort of looked at me with a nonchalant look and kept sort of foraging for whatever he was foraging for and so I tried to move a little bit, continuing down the trail. He looked at me and started moving towards me. And kept getting closer to me, looking at me. So I yelled and he sort of false charged me, came at me, just, just sort of charged like maybe five or 10 yards, which was now only about 10 yards away from me. And I really yelled. And he turned around and went about his business, but didn't run away. Just continued sort of foraging. And uh, I thought I had the whole thing on video, and, which would have been pretty funny because he would have heard sort of the, <laughs> the high-pitched scream or yell from me and uh, me trying to scare him away. Not very successfully, but I can't believe I didn't hit the start button. Uh, well, that was enough to get your heart going on a downhill, that's for sure. I'm great on the video with deer. <laughs> uh, it's not so much with bears. Male home place. Imagine there's, you can just see the outline of, I guess, the cabin, maybe 15 by 15, and the fireplace. And I've seen a few of these on the through hike so far. My imagination just goes with, first of all, what on earth? What are you doing way out here? How did you subsist and, you know, what was your life's calling, I guess? And what it must have been like, you know, whatever, 150, 200 years ago. I don't know. Not easy, I know that. Well, I am almost done with day 66. And what was the... The quote, life goes by fast. If you don't stop and look around every once in a while, you'll miss it. Well, today was one, one to remember, that's for sure. I will always remember it. It was a day me and Mr. Black Bear got up close and personal. And hopefully, much as I enjoyed it, <laughs> uh, that, that will be one where uh, I can say that I don't need to repeat it. One experience 
that close with black bear is enough for me. Enjoyed it, but once and done. <laughs>